Fury of the Film Fan here with my review for Batman The Killing Joke. I have been a big fan of DC Animations for quite some time now. DC Animations has released some amazing animated films following some of the best DC storylines and has satisfied in ways that the films just haven't been able to. I'm always excited for the next animated film, especially the one surrounding Batman. Batman has what is arguably the most interesting storylines to explore and The Killing Joke is one of the best. A graphic novel written by Alan Moore, The Killing Joke explores the origin of the Joker, a family man, failed comedian, and an overall emotional mess who has one bad day. Something that mirrors Batman and his origin. The graphic novel explores the connection between the Joker and the Batman and how a single event motivated these characters toward different yet similar paths in life. Whether the killing joke is canon, never meant to be canon, or adjusted canon, it really doesn't matter. The core of the graphic novel is intelligent and a great exploration into the psyche of these characters. Sadly, it never translates well into film. Let's cut to the chase here. The killing joke is a mess. Despite me being a fan of anything Batman, I couldn't help but notice the problems that this film had. Everything from production down to its conception. You can see it. You can see the studio dipping their hand into the project, pushing for an R rating, pushing for that theatrical release, and cutting the minutes down in the process. Being that The Killing Joke is a pretty short story, the film would have to include a prologue, a movie before the movie, so to say. You would think that the prologue would be something that drives the point of The Killing Joke home, or a story that sort of acts like the salt to a delicious meal that we've been waiting for, for years. Something that accentuates our taste, but instead we're given a story that follows Batgirl with something that looks more akin to a teen angst movie. Gone is the assertive, decisive Barbara Gordon we've all come to know over the years, and in comes this naive, irrational cliché. It's a story easily triggering anti-feminism abroad and reeks of misogynistic writing. Many people have a problem with the relationship in this movie between Batgirl and Batman. That didn't bother me because I do believe in the telling of gripping tales, exposing the flaws, and even the most perfect characters. But here's my problem. They do nothing to redeem Batgirl here. And considering what happens to her in The Killing Joke, they needed to. I get that the whole film explores Batman getting to this point, being pushed to this point that he does in the graphic novel. But in this film, it absolutely does come off offensive. Let's imagine that we never knew who Batman was. Let's imagine that we're entering this movie without knowing the relationship between Batman and Joker and Batgirl and who she is. And I know that's hard to do because let's face it, these iconic characters, it's impossible to not know who they are. And frankly, a lot of the times we don't even need to know who these characters are to enjoy some of the movies that we've been given. I know. But for the sake of the killing joke, the movie absolutely needed to explore more. Am I making sense? Cause I hope I do. It, it needed more of everything. It needed more to explain motives. It needed more to do Batgirl's character justice. It needed more to drive home the message of an incredible graphic novel. And in the end, we get a disjointed, misguided mess. I had a hard time seeing anything positive in this animated movie. This is a step back for DC Animation, and it is absolutely the wrong film to get a theatrical run. If you do decide to see this film, I suggest skipping the first half and just skip on to the Killing Joke storyline. Considering how anticipated this project was, this is just a damn shame. Now, this has been a Fury of the Film Fan Review, and I hope you enjoy the show.